Hello, 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 Tampam. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara. Love my babies forever. And this, as you just saw in the intro, is another sophisticated ladies collaboration. And we are so excited for this collaboration where each month one of our group members hosts. This month our host is Mrs. V of Savings with Mrs. V. And what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is a close collaboration. And this is all about pumpkins. Yes, guys, all about pumpkins. So you're gonna see different things related to pumpkins. And of course, I decided to do a what? A quick DIY. So I have a few Dollar Tree pumpkins that I'm gonna be working with. I'm going to be adding some um, trim to one. I'm going to add some pearls as you just saw. And of course, if you would like to recreate any of these items, listen, you find things that you have around your home. This is an old chain that I found somewhere and I just threw it on, just hot glued it on. So you can use whatever you have. If you have the regular rhinestone trim or you have beads or pearls, or you can do whatever you want to do and make it so that it matches your decor so of course you know my colors for the fall are teals and blues and purple and and mauve and so on and so forth and so i decided to play around with making myself a um a centerpiece for my table using my pumpkin wreath and I decided to DIY some pumpkins so I can place inside of that wreath so you're gonna see me do that shortly I um, got the two pumpkin pumpkin wire wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and I collect those every time I see them just like the um, square ones and i basically spray painted it gold because of course you know i always have gold and if you're by the way if you're new to my channel welcome 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 um if you are old <laughs> not old as in age <laughs> but if you have been around my channel for any length of time i appreciate you being here and so here's that wire wreath i was telling you about now guys i wanted this pumpkin wreath form to stand up and i couldn't think of a way to get it to stand up where i could maneuver in the center of the wreath without popping open <laughs> the um, wiring so styrofoam is some old styrofoam that came i believe it was I forgot what what it housed but it housed something and I have two identical pieces and it's perfect because I needed two wire wreath because I wanted it to be 3d okay so that's the difference that's my twist I wanted it to be 3d and I didn't want to do anything that I've seen other people do I want to do my own thing and so here we go 
I'm basically going to be hot gluing. I cut some slits inside of the form so that the wire would have some place to go. And then after I generously added hot glue, I placed some of those um, little white stones from the Dollar Tree inside of the middle just to give it a little bit more weight so that it can hold up what I want to put in it eventually. So I did that twice. And then um, I lost the rest of my footage, but at any rate, I then had to add popsicle sticks and make it really sturdy. And then I added those uh, popsicle sticks on the, on the bottom of each of the wire wreath form, the styrofoam. And then I placed that on top of one of those Dollar Tree um, signs. So here are my DIY pumpkin guys, my finished product. And these pumpkins I am going to be using in my wreath form. So next you're just going to see me decorate and try to um, style and stage my wreath form. So keep watching for that. And that pumpkin in the back there, that one I used in my fall coffee, um, my pumpkin cafe. <laughs> and I know a few of you really liked that one. So yeah, I had to make it just a quick, easy DIY. This is the one I added the pearls on. And of course, this is my little tray that I DIY. So here it is. guys oh I forgot to mention that I, I like when there's a hanging feature to my designs so I added this uh, terranium I think it's called and it's those ones from the Dollar Tree and of course I added a little bling stone to the top of my pumpkin and I did not put the piece the pumpkin forms directly together I left the space like I said so I could have room in the center so I'm just adding some greenery from the Dollar Tree Michaels from all over Walmart so I'm just playing around with my placement and my decor at this point so if you are here again thank you for stopping by thank you for watching um, like I said I have a few videos that I have to um, get out this week and uh, I'm trying <laughs> and I appreciate all the encouraging words from my last video if you have not seen that guys please stop on by and um, click on that video it's my fall pumpkin cafe and um, I think you're really going to enjoy how I styled it um, at any rate I hope you are enjoying this video so far and again I just love being creative and doing fun stuff and I'm creating this as a centerpiece I didn't have time to set my table because um, I also did not want to fall into doing a tablescape for this particular challenge so it's all about pumpkins and I just wanted to show different ways that you can jazz up those Dollar Tree pumpkins in addition to how you can use the wire wreath form without creating an actual wreath but a 3D shape that you can decorate and style with. So here's my finished product guys and I just love how all the colors mesh together 
And I told you I have a hodgepodge of colors that I'm decorating with for the fall and they are all visible in this particular 3D table decor because I wanted it to be able to sit upright and it's pretty sturdy. I ended up adding it on one of those signs you get from the Dollar Tree. But guys, isn't this just gorgeous? I absolutely love this. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. And please, please go and check out the Sophisticated Ladies. All the links are in the description box below. So it's Mrs. V, it's Tammy, it's Kel, it's Miss Penny, Miss Joan, two of our new advisors and members. And of course, you know, there and there is Miss um, Sandra and Miss Robin. And I just absolutely love being a part of this group. So I hope that you go and check out all the other members in the playlist. As I said, it's a closed playlist. So um, you should have no problem running through this playlist. So thank you guys for stopping by and yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think about this DIY in the comments and I hope that you guys are happy, healthy and blessed. Don't forget to like this video and please guys remember to turn on your notification bell so you'll know whenever I've uploaded a video and again I apologize that I cannot stick to a particular schedule right now so your notification will be very very important so thank you so much once again be blessed guys